Hi and welcome back. So one of the challenges that we faced uh, adding underfloor heating as a retrofit, or I say retrofit, it's half, half a new build here in a bungalow, was where did you place those underfloor heating manifolds? Um, we've ended up with I think 14 or 15 uh, different loops in the property here, so two relatively large manifolds and um, wanted them relatively central in the house to keep the runs from the manifolds to the loops as small as possible wanting to have access to them but didn't necessarily have cupboards so um, i looked around at the sort of technologies that i could use to hide that found some hidden access panels the ones that i used i think were for a company called jupiter blue um, so they're a metal frame panel um, with a sheet of plasterboard in it you fit that into the wall the plaster then skims that and and you paint it and um, I think the overall finish and effect that we've got from those has come out pretty well. Um, one of the things I hadn't thought about was uh, with the challenges of uh, trying to make a property airtight, I've got two service voids now that I'm trying to close off because I've got those where the underfloor heating goes up into the loft to go back to the uh, feed from the air source heat pump. Um, the hatches that I have don't have a, an air seal on them. But other than that, I'm really, really quite pleased with them. They're certainly not invisible, but you know, I don't think anybody would notice them or comment on them. Um, so let's have a look at the construction that we went through and um, the results that we've got. So let's take a look at the, um, one of these hatches that we've installed in the kitchen. So you can see it's alongside the end of the kitchen units here, uh, slightly open at the moment. So you, you, you can see them, you know, they're not invisible, um, but certainly it doesn't really, I don't think they look too bad at all. Um, so you can see it's been skimmed and plastered and painted. Um, so this is our main or, or, um, underfloor heating manifold. I think we've got nine loops here. Uh, across a number of rooms so the lounge which is the biggest space here has actually got four loops in it so it's quite a large room um, and you know I've seen these look so untidy I wanted to do this as tidily as I possibly could so um, got all of the valve actuators on here um, cabled up to um, a heat miser manifold uh, control panel wiring panel um, now we're not actually using that the way that you normally would um, it's a bit overkill for my installation here because I've actually got my locks on control system wiring this so there's not actually that many wires going in here normally each of these would go to a room thermostat uh, which it, indiv it would individually switch the loops but with my locks on system the light switches have a temperature humidity sensor built into them and I didn't want separate boxes on the walls of each room controlling the underfloor heating so these just simply go to uh, relays in the locks on control panel um, through one um, multi-core cable uh, i think it's about seven or eight cores that we've got on there one for each relay then live neutral earth um, which are connected up to the uh, the main thing for the panel and the reason i use that one i think they were only about 50 pounds each but it helps me with diagnostics because i've got a, an led indicator to show which of the relays are on so you can see that um, four of my five zones here are running anyone that's not turned on at the moment is the bathroom because uh, that room isn't finished yet so i'm not bothering with the heating in there so reasonably happy with how tidy that looks um, we can it's just a simple click close on the panel and you know, I'm reasonably happy with that. Um, the second manifold is actually quite close by but you know I didn't want one enormous manifold. Um, so similar wiring in here, a few less zones. What I've also put in here is uh, fused uh, isolation for a number of the auxiliary circuits. Again what I didn't want was um, switches all over the walls that I could avoid. So I've put, I've got an auxiliary um, low power six amp um, radial that comes across that covers mechanical ventilation heat recovery heated mirrors in the bathroom and velux windows so we can isolate all of those in here um, we've also got the most of the pipe work for the underfloor heating and bathrooms comes through the ceiling of the bungalow or in the roof space uh, that comes down here and then we've got isolation for each bathroom again hidden inside uh, these cupboards so um, reasonably neat and tidy. I've seen some pretty scruffy <laughs> installations in my um, research so we're quite happy with that. Um, and that all then connects through to 
um, another cupboard here where I'm going to have a full size door actually in, in this one for my locks on control panel. Again, further isolation for uh, other bathroom locations. The phone point and broadband comes in here and then the uh, the locks on control panel so this does audio and lighting control uh, for the house and a couple of the boxes in here are relays so we've got um, nine relays i think that run the underfloor heating um, manifold controls we're on an air source heat pump so you know, th there is the thought process that we might actually later on just run the system open take all of those uh, valves off um, and just run the system um, w w with um, weather co just purely weather compensation. But we'll see how we go through this winter and monitor that, and that's something we can choose to do um, or not as we move forward. So, relatively short video here, just to show you again one of those little projects that we've had on the build, um, the details that we're going to around you know having fitted the automation system we didn't want switches everywhere we didn't want stuff visible so trying to hide those technologies away um, quite pleased with what we managed to do with the underfloor heating and things like those uh, valves the jupiter blue panels i'm really quite pleased with you know they're not invisible but they're pretty good so um, for those of you looking to install underfloor heating and looking at how to hide those manifolds i hope this has been useful to you um, we're at just over 800 subscribers now, so if you've watched this video and enjoyed it, please click like and subscribe. And if you haven't looked at the other videos of our build, please take a look and uh, see how we've progressed so far on this project renovating a bungalow down in Dorset. Thank you so much for your time.